Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 4 of this coffee shop. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to edit the counter and then we did something for the windows. So now we're gonna continue wor working on this. Um, first, let's go and add in the roof so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to architecture and then click on roof and then we're gonna set it to level two and then press yes and then edit this type duplicate and then this will be roof number one press ok click on edit and then let's change the thickness to 200 millimeters. And then here, we're just going to put in a different. Um, so we could use actually an asphalt shingles just for now. And we could edit the finishes later on by using paint. So let's put this one right here. And then after that, we could click on. The rectangle and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure so i'm gonna press escape first and make sure to uncheck define slope because we want it to be um flat so click on rectangle and then click on the inside of this and then the inside of this end as well click on finish and then let's look at it at 3D. So as you can see, it is above that. Um, what we could do is we could just edit the thickness. Um, let's change this to 100. Because we're going to put a lot of information at the top here. And I wanted to change it a little bit. So, so now um, we're going to base offset this to probably around negative 200. Click on apply and as you can see this is overlapping here so what you have to do is you just need to click and then hold on control so that you can click more walls and then after that what you have to do so uncheck this one and what you have to do is click on attach base and then click on the roof now it will be below that now and then this one, you just need to pull it down like that. Because if you do, don't notice because of the transparency, it was protruding on the roof. So you'll be able to see that roof. But now, at least you you basically told our Revit that I don't want to see this over the roof. So I want it to be below this um, inside face. So now, what we could do now is, we're going to edit this later on because we want everything to be consistent. So we just want it to be at the top. So later on, we're going to edit that. So that's not a problem. Um, what we could concentrate now is adding some system family, which is the HVAC. Um, so just a disclaimer, I'm not um each guy so i don't know pretty much a lot about it but at least uh we could just put it as a reference so just an architecture reference and plus it's going to be good to have it uh when we have our rendering it will uh, give us a lot of um design so just to populate more so that it's just not um uh, just plain um, ceiling so what i'm gonna do now is let's um, go to system and then here if you click dock it's over oval dock so we're gonna change that to rectangle and then press escape again now if you click on one of this it's saying that there's no 
um, load. There's no fitting loaded. So what we need to do is we need to load them first. So yes, I'm going to say yes. And let's go to the main. And then here, we need to go to dock. So let's go to dock. And then let's go to fittings. And then because we're, we chose rectangle, we're going to use rectangle right here. We need to load each and every one of this. So we're going to keep on loading. So load family. So we just need to go back, process. There's only one here. So let's just load it. Go back again, load some elbows. And let's use this. And then load again. Let's go back. Uh, offset maybe we should use this and then load family uh, let's do here I know we're not gonna use this but uh, it's better to have them all loaded because if we do some um, some designing at least everything is we have everything in place. So T, so transition. We could use this. Load family. And then union. Let's just use that. And then wines. We could use something like this. Okay, so after that, we can press escape. And then uh, what we could do is we, we have to add it to our ceiling plan, which is right here. And then if we start adding our docks, if you see, we could just add a straight line for now because we still need to set it up. If you see a line like this, you need to change the uh, graphics or detail to fine. So now we're gonna escape this again. Even though if I click on it, uh, it's not letting me click on anything right here because we still, we loaded, um, some of the parts but we still have to uh, insert them so now let's go back and click on dock and just add a simple dock like that and select that and edit the type now we need to add routing preference and as you know we loaded everything but we just need to reference all of that for this part So just pick what is provided here. And then once we finish, so this is round over. We don't need that union and cap. And there we go. So now next time that we um, add this so delete this now and then click on dock you can see that we could manipulate the the angles now and it will create those um, connections so next thing we're gonna do um, is to insert some mechanical equipment. So yes, we're gonna click on the mechanical. And then here, what we need to go is, we need to go back to the main, and then go to mechanical, and then mechanical. And then here, we need to add in 
or air handling units. So I think it's not this one. We need to do is so let's go to ceiling level one and then let's click on air terminal under system and let's load in so what we need to go is we need to go back to the main and go to mechanical and then here let's click on MEP and then let's add in air side component and then air terminal and then here we're going to load in m supply diffuser and then let's load in this one rectangular face round neck click open and then now we need to add it but as you can see it's not showing so we just need to add one and then press escape and we need to change our view range under properties and then here we could put this one as unlimited and then we could put this at 3000 and then the view depth is unlimited make sure it's fine and then let's do it again or we could just go to our level one it is basically on level one um, what we could do is we could go to our elevation so let's go to our east and then let's change our graphic display with transparency and then if we highlight some of here you'll be able to see that this one is the supply diffuser that we added earlier we're gonna add one like so so i think we need to move this down a little bit so that we could have a proper height for this so let's do it at 2800 okay and then click apply and then now let's go back here and then we could select and then just copy And then we want to make sure that multiply is selected so that we could add multiple of this. And then here we should just need to move it in the middle as for this one as well. So I'm just going to delete this and then just copy this. So that it's easier we don't need to keep on adding okay and then now we just need to multiply we could add one right here and then one here and then copy again this one so that it's aligned already and just add it and then here we could just delete this and then align and then we could just move this one so that the spacing is much better and then now we could just add in our dock um, here I'm just going to add a dock in the middle like so
and then here we just need to make it at fine so that it will appear and then as you can see it's all the way at the top so we just need to pull it down to level one so as you can see reference level one top elevation we could just put this one at 3000 for now and then let's asset, assess everything by checking in the east elevation and then change this again to find so that you will be able to see and we could manage to move it up like this We could use a line so that everything is aligned at the top. Sorry, it needs to be selected. So you need to select the roof first and then here yeah, so that it will move. Okay. And then go back here and then we just need to connect everything. So what we could do is we could select here and we just need to apply that. So the flex dock, I'm going to use the flex dock so that I could connect this one through here. And then I just need to change the diameter, maybe 150 mm is good enough. And as you can see, it looks much better like that. Although the transition is not perfect, um, at least we're able to change it. And then for here, the width, maybe I could change this to 150 as well. So we just need to keep on changing some stuff so that especially on this one, the transition is not perfect. And then we're just changing everything up. So like I said, I'm not a I'm not good at this. I'm not familiar with MEP, but at least we'll be able to add some um, some design here. So here we just need to add in a change. So let's stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.